I never know whether to say fortunately or unfortunately when I let you guys know that I don't have any recent news, but the links down below, especially the first link, the Black Lives Matter movement link, uh, will let you know any recent news if there is any. Because on one hand, fortunately, that means there's nothing going on and maybe black people and people of color can just like take a breath and hopefully relax for a couple minutes. But unfortunately, that could also mean that things are happening that we don't know about yet or things are happening that we will won't know about ever, maybe. So it's kind of, I don't really know how to say that, but I have no recent news myself. But if you check out the link down below and all of the other links, uh, we will be as up to date as we possibly can. Keep checking those out, especially if you're a white person. You don't get to just be like, oh, but I need like a mental health moment. I can't keep seeing this. It's doom scrolling, which like, yeah, OK, everybody has mental health problems, but you can take you can take a step back. Black people and people of color cannot because it's literally the lives they live every single day. So check out those links down in the description and don't be a little bitch about it. Just go. Look at them and do the bare minimum that you can. Hello, friendsies. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to do like kind of a fun little video, but also I guess another episode of promoting small business because I want to tell you guys my favorite Etsy shops that I have either bought from before or plan to buy from in the future because their products are just absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, I don't have the money to spend on their shops, but I absolutely plan to and like one day the items on the shops will be mine because I love them. I love small business. I love creativity. Yeah, so we're gonna get into it. So the first shop I want to talk about is the shop that Dean Draws has on Etsy. I love Dean Draws. I don't even remember how I like found them, stumbled across them. I feel like it was through Instagram because I will say the one thing about Instagram lately is if you like one thing, they will put anything similar in your feed in just like suggestion for like three months straight until you finally fucking give in. I will give that that to Instagram. I will. Because I think that's how I found Dean Draws through probably somebody else I follow or just the fact that I have a saved folder on Instagram of like Marvel edits that like make me feel really emotional. Because Dean Draws, a lot of what they make are Marvel related pins. And I don't know if you guys can see back here, but I have quite a few of Dean Draws pins. I have I have 16 draws pins. I love this guy. A lot of his like most well-known pins are the Avengers pins with the flowers behind them and each flower means a specific thing. I am a Kickstarter of the like, I think he calls them seasons. I signed up and was a Kickstarter and a backer to his, sorry, I was a backer to his Kickstarter for like the series three series the series three of his Avengers like pins with um the flowers behind it because I have Bucky, Clint, and Sam at the moment, my three best boys. I got a, on the new like series, I got Rhodey and I got Vision because also best boys. And I got, because I was like already a backer and it was like a special thing if you were a backer, I got World War II Bucky, my sweet baby boy. And I do plan in the future to get, um, the the new Sam and Bucky one because I have Sam as Falcon. Again, I don't know if you can see, but he's back here. I have Sam as Falcon and then I want the like uh Falcon and the Winter Soldier show version of Bucky because that's what I also plan to do with like Funkos and shit. Because you know, hyperfixations. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I also have the I don't know again, I don't know if you can see, but I also have the Sam and Bucky ship pin because I love them very much. He also makes a lot of supernatural pins and he also makes a lot of like prints and everything like, oh, that's what it was. I think I had my eyes on Dean Draws and kind of was like, oh, like I'll buy from him, you know, in the future. And then my friend actually got me a Stephen Bucky ship print from him and one of the pins I have. I think it's my chibi pin. I keep looking back at them. That's Dean Draws. I love Dean Draws. That is, he's absolutely one of my favorite artists, pin creators, and his one of my favorite Etsy shops. So yeah. Another one of my favorite Etsy shops is Fugly Barbie. I think that is exactly, yeah, that's the name. Um, they make a lot of shirts, a lot of mugs, and a lot of stickers are a lot of the prod products bleh, that I've seen that I have wanted to buy. Um, and I just absolutely adore their products because that is pretty much exactly my aesthetic. They have, um, like, I, I love, like, 
very ridiculous like cheesy mugs and I love graphic tees if you can't tell by a lot of the outfits I wear. Uh, even though my like dream aesthetic is like soft cottage core pastel, unfortunately that is not a plus size easily available thing without spending a lot of money that I don't have. So graphic tees are also like one of my favorite aesthetics. So this is this is perfect because it's a graphic tee like shop essentially. They have really funny mugs that say I like, what is it? I like my coffee like I like my romance novels hot and steamy and then the side picture is like the cover of a romance novel which is so exciting. They have a couple t-shirts that are like ghost, ghost shows and chill and it's like a cute little ghost playing on it. I just that is, that's my aesthetic. Have you guys seen the Wicked Tees? I think that's literally the brand too. It's called Wicked Tees. And it's like a picture of a Grim Reaper and like a picture of those kids from like those old, I want to say like 70s, 80s books. And like the girls always like in that little short kind of fluffy dress and the little boys are always kind of like a sailor uniform. And it's the, it's like a Grim Reaper at the front door and a child's answering. It's like, Timmy gets a visit, like things like that. I love the Wicked Tea Company and they also uh, are not plus size inclusive. I have seen um, on the Fugly Barbie shop that they do have some things that are like clothing that are plus size inclusive. Not a lot of them, but some of them. So it like makes me like tentatively hopeful. And also the stickers and mugs are just absolutely gorgeous. So Fugly Barbie. The Pink Samurai is another shop that is uh, that is available on Etsy that I absolutely adore. The Pink Samurai makes a lot of videos. The reason I found her is it got like suggested to me and I don't even remember why YouTube suggested it to me. Probably because our phones listen to everything and I was talking about wanting to make pins one day because that is like a big dream of mine. Like if YouTube ever blows up I have a lot of like things I want to do um with like you know what I mean like a following and like money hopefully but one of the things I really want to do is I want to make enamel pins one day that is like my absolute dream I already have an idea for like quite a few and you know how people do like collections I have ideas for collections <gasps> oh my god I'll make a video about that and I'll talk about it oh my god okay anyway um but the pink samurai's videos got suggested to me she also has a youtube channel of um like how to go about that, how to start making enamel pins and things like that, and like how to finance and how to promote and all, all that kind of stuff. But she also has an Etsy shop and her Etsy shop has pretty much all of the pins that she's made that she's featured in those videos and talked about in detail. Uh, she sells Eda bags as well. There's uh, a, an Eda bag on there that's just black and I want a black Eda bag because I wanted to do like a spooky like pin collection Eda bag because I have an Eda bag. Uh, it's a, it's the pink heart backpacks, the, the backpacks that have like the pink heart cut out. And those, that bag has my, um, like button pins, like the pins that aren't just like the, the little stick with the pin back. It's the ones that like clip in. I have all of, you know, those on it. Do you guys want an eat a bag video as well? I want to do a pin collection video, but the thing is it is going to take a while because I do have most of the business cards and I do have a lot of pins from like one or two shops but I do have pins that like I have no fucking clue where I got them from and I don't know like which ones match the business cards so that would take a long time to make um that might have to be like at the sacrifice of like a week or two of videos so I could get down between like work and stuff get down to it and like do all the research so if you guys want that let me know but anyway yeah, uh, the Pink Samurai, I absolutely love. The pins, first of all, I want all of her pins, like immediately, they're gorgeous. Especially there's one at like the top of her page that's like a little Halloween Christmas tree, adorable. But she also has a black Eda bag that I really want because I have an idea that I want to make like a, a spooky, like ghosty themed Eda bag. So Pink Samurai, between your YouTube channel and your Etsy shop, I don't know why I'm counting on these fingers this time around instead of these two, because this is usually how I count, but Pink Samurai, 10 out of 10, love that Etsy shop. And that's not even really a small business and neither is Dean Draws. Like it is, but I feel like they're fairly well known. So I don't know if it would be considered like small business, but it is still small business. What am I saying? Who knows? I would also like to point out that Pink Samurai has washi tape on her Etsy shop. And the last shop I'm gonna talk about is actually the shop that's at like, that was probably the first shop that I like, favorited I guess on Etsy um it's because it's all the way at the bottom of the feed and it is the gray muse this shop is absolutely stunning I genuinely don't think hold on I don't think looking at my pins I don't think I own anything by the gray muse which is a fucking crime because their pins are absolutely stunning and a lot of those pins are um it's it's like a little paint set it's a paint brush it's a paint brushes in a mason jar it's different types of pens it's a sewing machine 
and I feel like I probably liked the Grey Muse, like saw it somewhere in my feed and favorited it because of the like crafting pieces, because I definitely, I know that I've bought like a sewing machine pin and like a embroidery hoop pin for one of my friends in the past because she does a lot of sewing and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if they were specifically from the Grey Muse, but then I definitely saw the Grey Muse and saw like the, the black sewing machine pin that they have specifically and wanted to get that for her at some point. So the Grey Muse, 10 out of 10, and especially because I do like a lot of painting and like I have discussed this in the past, how I want to be a writer. Um, I like that they have a lot of different pins specifically for that. And I wish I had more of these pin board things. If anybody knows where I can find these, please let me know because I've only been able to get them at a CVS and a Target around Valentine's Day. Uh, and never two years in a row. It's always been like every other year or every three years. So if anybody knows where I can find more pin boards exactly like this, these are my favorite. I will have to cave one day and get other ones, but I don't want to. So yeah, um, I would love to do like, a specific pin board that's like just kind of like creative things like I, I think I do have like a wooden paint palette pin uh, bookmarked somewhere else on Etsy like I think I have like a list of pins that are like my absolute favorites that I want to get my hands on and I think I have like the um what are the what are they called the pat patone or whatever patone something like that and it's like the the paint swatches I think I do have a pin like that bookmarked as well from another shop and that would be cool, I think, to do like a themed pin board. I've never done a themed one. I just, every time I get a pin, I add it to the pin board. I am going to change pin boards around, but that's, that's when I get all my Dean Dross pins. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I feel like I was kind of all over the place, but these are some of my absolute favorite Etsy shops, some of my favorite small businesses. I love Etsy, uh, and I love these shops specifically. So check them out. I will leave the links down in the description. You know which links you need to check out first, though. You know which ones to check out first but right below those will be the links to all these shops because they're so gorgeous and if you have the money to support these creators please do i know some of them look like more expensive but that's because these people are small businesses and this is their livelihood and honestly i like at least for dean draws i can 100 percent like raise your right hand and swear dean draws pins 1000 percent hold up like to the hype, to the price, they hold up 1000%. I adore Dean Draws. I made a freaking Instagram post about some of the stuff I got one time. I think it was specifically my Sam pin and then my Sam and Bucky shit pin. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Editor, edit like 20 minutes of me flipping my hair around, except I'm the editor. God, I wish I was getting paid for that. <laughs>